Genesis 3 1 Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? 2 And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. 3 But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Did you know that man is often referred to as a tree in the Bible? 4 And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. 5 For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. 6 And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. Did you know that knowledge is food for the brain? And that it was pleasant to the eyes? Did you know that a man can be pleasant to the eyes and a woman can desire a man? And a tree to be desired to make one wise? Did you know that this tree was to be desired and give knowledge? She took of the fruit thereof. Eve did not eat an apple she accepted the knowledge that this tree offered her. It made her wiser. And did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. She then went to her husband and showed this knowledge to him too. Now you are probably wondering what she could have showed him. 7 And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. Why did they now want to clothe themselves they never had before? 8 And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. 9 And the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? 10 And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked and I hid myself. 11 And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? Have you ever wondered just what kind of a tree it was or how a serpent could talk to Eve? There are no talking serpents on earth today. 12 And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Notice that the word did not say she give him the tree, Eve gave Adam, of, the tree. Eve gave Adam the knowledge that the serpent had given her, she showed Adam what the serpent showed her. 13 And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. The serpent tempted her into listening to him about something. 14 And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. It sounds like to me that the serpent must have stood upright on his feet at one time, and God punished him by taking his legs from him and made him to crawl on the ground, since he had done this terrible thing he no longer had legs, God had taken them from him and changed his looks he was no longer one to be desired. 15 And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. It sounds like to me that at one time that the serpent walked like a man and could breed with a woman because God said that he was putting enmity between her seed which is the seed of mankind that a man gives unto a woman to get her pregnant and the serpent's seed which means that they could never cross again to make a baby. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. 16 Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Again it sounds like a sexual thing. 17 And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. 18 Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. 19 In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Eve was supposed to have waited for the appointed time, that God had set to bring offspring on the earth, and make more sons of God, not half-breed serpent and man mixed babies. I believe that all of these big skeletons that they keep finding around the world. 
are the offspring of this union from Eve and the serpent. And that went down the line of Cain. Abel was the offspring of Adam a son of God. This is why Abel and Seth were so good, and Cain was so evil. Cain was of the evil one the serpent's son. Known as the son of Satan. When a woman has been with two men in the same day she can get pregnant by both men and have twins. This has been a proven fact.